So my name is Heidi Fanda and I am the founder and the lead for the Hacking Health Ottawa chapter. Um, we started this chapter in 2015 and like most chapters, totally bootstrapped. Um, and over the years, we've grown into the health innovation program. And it's a unique approach. Uh, most hacking health chapters um, focus on the hackathon. And what I realized was that it was so important to have a program approach in order to amplify the uh, impact of a hackathon. Hackathons are incredible to bring um, the magic of different innovators into a room, uh, designers, developers, entrepreneurs, patients, physicians. And what happens after is um, the most important part. It's the beginning of the journey. So the Health Innovation Program started with 10 events. Uh, this year we've closed it down a little bit and it's uh, eight events. And it takes people through this journey. Uh, from identifying a problem, uh, connecting them with resources, with people, and uh, exposing them to tools so that they can fully have um, a, a strong understanding of what the needs are of their potential users are and uh, and solve it. So, where where am I? Um, I was working for the Ontario Primary Healthcare Program. I was working for the Ontario Primary Healthcare Program and my, my role there was the lead educational technologist, so working with clinicians across Ontario in order to improve the education for nurse practitioners. And I was there for three years doing some really great stuff um, at the intersection of tech education and primary health care, and I uh, later moved to Shopify. So I'm working now at Shopify as a learning platform architect. I'm, my name is Heidi Fanda and I'm the founder and lead of the Ottawa Hacking Health chapter. Right now we are at the Shopify headquarters. Uh, I work here as a learning platform architect and we are hosting the second annual Health Innovation Program Hackathon. It's a mouthful. And this hackathon is exceptional because it's housed within a program. We have an eight series event program that takes the problem solver through this journey to identify a problem, connect with the right people, learn about the right resources that they need in order to move forward. We have this weekend long 42 hour hackathon where we create a minimal viable prototype, a proof of concept of their solution. And then we have, we end with a community community connector event and this is so important because once you build the inspiration you build the skill set um, you have an idea that's coming off the ground you want to support that and so the community connector event is all about bringing the resources to the problem solvers uh, that means our local incubators that means helping them with seed funding that means um, providing them access to office space and all that all those important things that um, help fuel the uh, future entrepreneur. Um, <clears throat> how did I get into this? In 2015, I started this chapter. I had my first hackathon experience in Montreal, and it was freaking amazing. Um, I was so inspired. Uh, at the time, I was working in R&D at a fertility clinic, and I was leading a project um, to help fertility patients get pregnant at an in vitro clinic. And it was tough. Um, I was working with an interdisciplinary team. Uh, took about 16 months to develop this program, also known as a feasibility study. And when we launched it, we failed miserably. And it was, it was awful, right? No one likes to fail. Um, and I often look back at that experience and I think, wow, um, that that moment was so pivotal in order for me to start doing what I do now. And, and that's, um, you know, founding the Hacking Health Ottawa chapter and thinking about that moment, why did we fail? And there was two reasons. The first one was because we didn't identify the right problem. And we didn't do that because, we weren't able to do that because we didn't have the right people in that room. Hackathons are amazing because you have people coming from design, development, engineering, 
business, um, healthcare coming together and you get this brain share that you don't get anywhere else. And I was hooked. Um, the other reason is because I think that we need more collaborative action in the space of healthcare. Healthcare is archaic. Things move slowly here for good reason. There's a lot of uh, red tape. Um, and, I, and I believe there's another way. There's another way to move uh, quicker together. And um, this is what we're trying to do here with the Health Innovation Program. So we have a partnership with the uh, Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, um, CHEO, and it's been going great. Um, we're able to, with these community connections, we're able to take projects and uh, give them life in the hospital. So last year, two projects from our program um, are currently being piloted at the hospital.